Hey guys, welcome to your love reading, soulmate reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your uh, November 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate. Okay, so apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. So tell me about um, cancer. What is going on with cancer? Tell me about cancer here. How is cancer's soulmate journey going? How is cancer's soulmate journey going? How is cancer's soulmate journey going? We have the Nine of Swords here, Cancer, that jumped out. We also have the Sun card here, Leo Energy. We have the Judgment card and the Five of Swords and the Star card here and the Ace of Wands here. Okay. Um, we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. So what we have here is that someone here is losing sleep over you. Okay. Like I feel like someone here is just not really having good days. So I, I do also believe that there is separation here. Okay. And I feel like there are... Like, I feel like it either could be you or your person where when, when someone here thinks about you or you think about the person when you have a bad day, you know, this kind of puts a smile on your face here. OK, so we have the judgment card, Sagittarius energy, the five of swords, the star card, Aquarius energy, and also we have the ace of wands here, the ace of wands. Ace of Wands. It, it does seem like there is someone here that's missing you a lot or that you could be missing your person here. And it could be a situation where, you know, someone here walked away from someone here for an unknown reason. It could be that, you know, there could have been mind games here. You know, there could have been games that were being played here. But, you know, I do feel like someone here does want to reconnect. Someone here does want to reconcile here after a period of, you know, not being together here, because I do feel like someone here has done some, you know, introspection, self-reflection here and realize that, you know, the bond that you guys have is strong and that it's worth fighting for here. I do feel like someone here wants to fight for this here because I feel like someone here is definitely, definitely stepping into some sort of warrior mode here to fight for this. Now, it's interesting here. You could be dealing with someone here in the military or in the, uh, or in, um, you know, uh, 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 or is a police officer here. So with the Six of Cups here and the Nine of Swords, okay, we have the Sun and the Eight of Cups here, Ten of Pentacles and the Judgment. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Five of Swords, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Star card, and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Ace of Wands here. So someone here is definitely looking for a passionate new beginning here, okay? So, you know, if someone here walked away from you, someone here wants to come back into your life here, all right? Uh, let's see, what else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to their soulmate journey here for Cancer. So Cancer, we have the Strength card here, Leo Energy. We have the Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, Six of Pentacles here, and also the Devil card here. Okay. I mean, this could be you just really hurt by this person here. You know, you could be surprised by this person coming back around. It's kind of like, okay. It's almost like an energy of like, you got some nerve to come back around. You know, you really hurt me here. You know, you haven't done anything to make things right. You haven't apologized, that sort of thing here. 
okay? So you're really surprised by this communication here from this individual, all right? I do feel like this person does have a lot to say here, but I also feel like you're starting to see this person's true colors here. You're starting to see that this person doesn't really have good intentions here towards you. You know, this person can be someone who's very controlling. You know, this person could be someone who's very codependent. You know, this person could have some sort of behavioral issues here, okay? So, you know, I do feel like perhaps you're coming to a realization that, you know, you guys are finding closure here. You know, some of you guys are really truly moving on towards a new beginning on your own here, but you know, this person might not be done with you. All right. I feel like with the strength card here and the three of swords, I still feel like you're trying to re recover from this broken heart here. You're really guarded from this individual here. You're not trusting this person here, okay? You know, I feel like you're you're not showing that softer side of you here. I feel like a lot of you guys are going cold on this person here with the Knight of Pentacles here and the, uh, uh, the Nine of Wands. It's interesting here. It's almost like I feel like you're like, this person's coming in all normal here because I feel like this person can be a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here. So this person's coming in all normal you know, like, you know, like, you know, whatever they have shown you here has never happened happened before here, okay? I do feel like, you know, whoever this is, you know, this person has a tendency to pretend a lot here or distort your reality with the Eight of Wands here and also the Lovers here. Or their reality is distorted themselves here. Yeah, they distort their own reality here. We have the Tower here and the Two of Wands the Six of Pentacles here, and also the Three of Cups, and the Devil card here, and also we have the Hierophant here. I, I do feel like whoever this is, you know, I do feel like this is an individual here that will try and manipulate you into getting back together with them. I do feel like this person does have a lot of spiritual knowledge and wisdom. And I feel like this person has a tendency to, to use it to their own advantage here, where they gain the upper hand or gain some sort of control here. Okay, so the Two of Wands and the Tower Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles and also the Hierophant here and the Devil. Cancer. Someone here is definitely making plans to build a life here with you. But, you know, I feel like some of you guys could be moving away from this here. It's almost like an energy of, like, the universe is calling you to do this or that, you know what, it's time here. It's time to move on towards a new beginning here and really tr truly close the door on this person and the situation here. Uh, I, I, I do believe that it was pretty painful for you here. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely watching you. They're definitely spying on you here all the time, okay? I just thought of this here. Let's say if you have turned on your Find My Phone app on your uh, iPhone, you know, and this person tracks you, turn it off. Yeah, turn it off here. Block this person on social media here, you know, because I feel like every time that this person looks at you, I feel like this person's putting bad juju on you. Yeah, it keeps it, it energetically kind of pulls you back in, you know? So, uh, yeah, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.